I was born into a rural family where life was always associated with difficulties and hardships. My family could not afford to let me continue my education, so I had to leave school early to help support the family. Despite the challenges, my family never forgot to come to God in morning and evening prayers. At the age of 16, through the introduction of acquaintances and friends from the neighborhood, I decided to ask my parents to allow me to go to Saigon to work. I started working at a mechanical workshop in Tan Phu District, where I made friends with people from various rural areas. We worked together and often discussed life's issues. During the homily, I heard the priest share many stories that deeply resonated with me. Through the homily, he invited young people to respond to God's call to go out and bring the good news to those who have not yet known him. After the mass, there were also young children dressed in the attire of various religious orders who stood up to introduce their orders and their spiritual missions. The image of these children in religious attire sparked within me a desire to become a servant of God. When I returned home, I thought deeply about what the priest had shared and invited us to consider during the Mass. I felt a strong stirring in my soul. I felt that the priest's invitation had awakened in me a longing to become a witness for God, to bring joy to others. I shared these thoughts with my parents, and they encouraged me. They advised me to pray for God's guidance and enlightenment. After some time, I decided to visit and discuss my plans with a teacher who was in religious life in Saigon. He introduced me to a boarding house of a religious order so I could continue my high school studies. In 2015, I shared my desire to devote myself to God with a spiritual mentor while staying at the boarding house. After hearing my thoughts and desires, the mentor decided to introduce me to a religious community where I could learn and further develop my knowledge. During my time at the religious house, a major event occurred in my life. That year, I was in an accident while out on an assignment for a supervisor. While on the road, I was hit by a truck going in the same direction because I did not pay close enough attention. The impact threw me a considerable distance while my motorcycle was dragged under the truck's wheels. Fortunately, I only sustained minor injuries, although my Honda motorcycle was severely damaged. Witnesses were shocked, believing that with such a severe collision, I could not have survived. Despite only being lightly injured, this incident made me realize the fragility of life. Even now, when I think back on it, I still feel fear. I decided to pursue my calling and began studying to become a religious. I know that the process of studying and training is not easy, but I always feel God's presence and guidance in every step I take. In difficult times, I remember the encouragement of friends and the protection of God in the past, which helps me overcome all challenges. Now, I am living a life of consecration, responding to God's call. Each day, I feel grateful for the challenges I have faced, as they have made me stronger and more steadfast on the path of serving Him. I believe that with God's providence, I will continue to walk this path and bring joy and hope to many others.